Well, hello everyone and welcome to another growing guide here at Larry's Orchids. Today we're going to be talking about Oncidiums. And uh, a lot of people have been asking how to grow them. And so today we're doing that. Oncidiums are a great orchid. A lot of people overcomplicate. And so hopefully today I'm going to be able to um, alleviate some of those worries and make them go away so you can try them because I seriously suggest giving them a try. They're so beautiful and they're um, easily one of, the, uh, one of the more prolific orchids that you can find out there. Now, Oncidiums are uh, almost identical in uh, care to a Phalaenopsis. So if you've ever grown a Phalaenopsis, these are going to be just about the same. And, um, and there's a lot of also similarities with uh, Cataleas as well. So they're going to share many of those those same growing types. So if you're one that likes to grow those, these are going to be a great addition to your collection without much knowledge needed at all, uh, other than what you already know for those orchids. So uh, hopefully you're going to enjoy this episode. So sit back and enjoy. Now, first we're going to talk about the light. Light is always the first one you're talking about orchids because it can mean uh, a dead plant or a healthy plant. And um, it even might mean that your plant doesn't flower. So the lighting is very crucial. They can tolerate an east, west, or south facing window. They like nice, strong, direct sunlight. However, they don't like the intense, uh, they don't like the intense directness. They like more of the, uh, the duration that they get. So if you put them in a south facing window, make sure you have shades or blinds. We talk about this a lot. They like to have between 20 and 60% um, filtration. So if you put something in that blocks about 60% um, of the sunlight, that's going to be more on the extreme end. They can be anywhere in between. So if you have something that blocks 20%, you're going to have 80% sun exposure. That's, uh, that's on the higher end. So between, uh, you know, just between 20 and 60% filtration is going to give you that optimal growing condition for your Oncidiums. Now, we're going to talk about fertilizing. When it comes to fertilizing, you're going to want to give them your average all-purpose orchid-specific fertilizer. Here at Larry's Orchids, we like to carry a better grow. That way, uh, you can have an insured way to fertilize your plant and that's what we actually use in-house so it's a very reliable fertilizer so for you i'm going to post a link in the description box below that way you can check out what we use and um, and you can make a purchase if that's what you'd like now we're going to talk about the temperature temperature is very similar to cattleyas if you've ever grown them they like to have a temperature variance between the daytime and the nighttime and while it's not something that we really stress, it's something that if you want a healthy plant, it's good to practice it. And that temperature variance should be about 15 degrees Fahrenheit from daytime to nighttime. So they prefer about 60 to 65 degrees in the, uh, at the night. And then during the day, they, produce, they really should be grown in about 75 to 80 degrees during the day for optimal growing conditions. However, if you have them growing in something less than that, they're going to do just fine. Now, the next thing is the humidity. Humidity is something that you really should not have to stress out about, even though I'm going to make a mention of it because it is part of the growing guide and it is part of our, uh, our format here at Larry's Orchids that we always like talking about the humidity as well. Um, with humidity, you, don't, you should not have to worry about it um, because they like anything between 30 and 60% humidity. So that, that window is going to do just fine for most people. And I think most people can manage a 30% humidity. And the last thing we're going to talk about is watering. When you're watering your Oncidium orchids, you want to make sure that you allow the uh, medium to begin to dry. It's not like a lot of orchids where you have to wait for it to either be bone dry or they like to be wet a lot of the time or moist a lot of the time. They're a little bit one of those in-between plants and that is, um, it's rather forgiving, but it's also um, one of those things where you have to kind of not really stick to a schedule. You more or less have to just tell by the weight or by the way that the, uh, the medium looks. If the medium is wet, don't water it again. You want the medium to be dry about halfway down, and that's the best way to gauge when to water. As soon as it starts to get halfway down dry, water it again. Now, if you let it dry out all the way, it's not going to hurt it because they do have pseudobulbs that do hold water. However, you don't want 
to, um, you know, you don't want to have to ha tap into the re that reserve. You'd rather just let the plant stay healthy and stress-free by just giving it water when it needs it. And the very, very last tip I'm gonna leave with you all is for the inflorescence. Oncidiums have a massive, massive inflorescence and that's the flower stalk there. And oftentimes you'll find that they will flower even in a two and a half inch pot like this one is. And with that comes a very top heavy plant when it gets all those flowers on it, oftentimes it's not very well balanced. So what we like to do is sometimes you can stick a, a flower stalk, or not a flower stalk, but a flower stick uh, and attach it to the flower stalk and that will help it to stay upright instead of growing at a 45 degree angle. Because once you have that going, all those flowers will just pull the plant down and it's constantly going to be falling down. Or what I've seen done a lot of times, people have that happen and they actually don't want to repot it into a bigger pot because it doesn't need it yet. So what do you do? They simply take an empty pot, stick uh, the smaller plant into the larger heavy clay pot so it can't fall over and then it kind of just supports it up and that's another way that you can have um, some support for your city orchids while they're in bloom and in a small pot. And so that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you all learned something new. And if you did, please click the subscribe button. That does help us out know who we're reaching. And it also helps you know when we're uploading a cool video like this one that you're watching. And also, if you have any friends that are into growing tropical, cool, exotic uh, orchids, make sure to send them a link to this video because um, hey, I think they'll like it. And also, if you saw anything on this episode or are interested in purchasing growing medium or pots or fertilizer, the links are in the description box below and they do apply to Oncidiums since this is an Oncidium video. And so, uh, yeah, until next episode, this is Luke from Larry's Orchids thanking you for making us the number one stop shop for all your orchid and tropical needs. All right, take care, everyone. Bye.